Wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all night. Uh, <laughs> I think I said Donnie B all day. I might have said night. So, all right, we got something fun coming. A while ago, I designed a blade, a machete. I haven't done yet, but I plan on it. Um, called the Voorhees, and it's basically going to be my version. I wonder if I can actually pull it up here. My version of the Jason Voorhees uh, machete. So when I did that one, I love I love the way the design came out, and now I need to eventually get it together and put it down. And it could end up being a um, a khhi offering coming up i have one thing well i have my zombie slayer is is next that one's pretty much done but then i was thinking about doing a wild west style buoy the classic style and um but after that who knows i might just go all Voorhees. i'm trying to find the uh, oh, i found it so i'm going to show you guys that i came up with this design and hold on, let's show you, let's show you. So that was my design for the Voorhees machete. Um, and I think this would be really badass. Instead of a thin machete, it would obviously be a big, thick, nasty, burly, one-handed menace of a swinger. So I come up with that. And after I came up with that, I'm like, how could I have a Voorhees design, but not a Michael Myers and all that needed to change. So I got to the drawing board and um, I designed myself a Michael Myers blade. Now, Michael Myers in, in the Halloween movies uses a butcher knife, classic kitchen butcher knife. Everybody knows, everybody loves. It's just a butcher knife. The problem with a butcher knife is, and there's not really a problem with a butcher knife, they're great. Um, but it's it's a very thin, lightweight knife. So if you were going to use it for fighting and attacking anything moving, you would want it to be a little bit heavier, a little bit nastier. So I thought, well, there's plenty of camp, um, camp like kitchen knives, camp knives made for this style. But I really wanted to do my own. And... I was talking to a guy I introduced you to a while ago, Elemental Maid. He made me that badass leather sheath for the D-Bad Little Big Man. Hold on, let me show it to you. It's in Arizona. Um, so it, I, I can't just pull it out and show it to you. Um, but uh, he did that. And then he, he he's a knife maker in Canada, right? And, and I'm talking a custom knife maker, not some guy who runs his machine and it produces a bunch of blanks and then he does, he does it ground up. And as a matter of fact, in the link below, doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm going to put his last um, video of um, a knife he just made. And uh, the thing is, he's been wanting to get back to it, just get back to knife making. And he finally did. And it, it's wonderful. It's he he made a beautiful beautiful knife and um and he he's just ready. But he didn't just make a knife and then video it. He videos the entire the entire thing, how this knife came to be. And um so he goes ground up from a from a bar of 1084 steel and shows you the entire process. I've done that with a few things where I've showed you a, a process on on things, and it just makes it more special to people because you know how it's done. You get to see all the workings, and uh, he did a fantastic job. And uh, so if you look in the video below, you will see that. So why am I talking about Elemental Made if we're talking about a D-Bad Myers Curse Knife? Um, well, here, here's the thing. A while ago, when I first did this design, I was thinking in my head it was going to be a Twisted Mister, um, blade, uh, but things happened and it didn't get off the ground, so it's just been put on hold, but I was talking to him and he said, you know, we should collaborate and do a knife together. I'll design a knife and he's going to make it. So, I was talking to him about a couple things I had in my head and he, and he was asking me, you know, what do you what are you thinking about? And I said, well, you know, I had this 
Michael Myers design, and he pumped the brakes. Burp. He's like, dude, that's my favorite horror character. I would love to do a Michael Myers knife. So I came up with my own um, fighting butcher knife. So I wanted the classic butcher knife lines, but I wanted it to be balanced and weighted for a fighting knife. And that's what I accomplished in the design. So he's going to do it. He's actually going to make two, one for me and one for him. And then if somebody really wants one, you can get a hold of him, which is going to be really easy because he's right here on uh, on YouTube. If you really want one, um, he can go over all of what it would take to get one, um, to have one made specifically for you. So what I want to do is I just want to show you my design and you're going to get to see what he's making. Hold on. So right there is going to be my, um, um our actually a Myers curse. Um, and it's going to be completely handmade. It'll be mostly similar to this. Um, there might be a, a couple of small tweaks, but pretty much this is what it looks like. Um, and it's going to be awesome. I mean, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be big. That's for damn sure. It's going to be a big blade, um, but it's going to be so damn nice. And watching how this guy makes a knife, there's a lot of guys out here that are selling custom blades, custom knife smiths that are out there that aren't as good as him. They're just not as good as him, but they're getting paid for it because they started doing it and they got a following and people are out there buying some subpar knives from these guys that aren't really that good, but they're selling because they make people think they're good for somehow. And I don't get it, but this guy is actually a real knife maker. He's hands-on, just ground in. He knows how to cut in a bevel. He just, and he does it all by hand and by eye. You see, when I bring my, my knives down and I'm, I'm on that belt grinder, I don't use a jig. I do everything by hand, everything by eye. And that's what I love about him is he just, focuses in, doesn't use a jig to do his final edges. And if you look at the video down below, you're going to see that. So watch the video down below. Give this guy a sub. Give him a like on his video. Comment on his video. Do whatever. Um, but definitely give him a sub. Let him know I sent you there. Uh, because once this knife comes out, people are going to want one. It's it's He has the skill and the talent to make a really badass knife. And especially because I went with some really nice... Um, some wood scales. This guy's like a wood scale master. He just, he's freaking awesome. So check out Elemental Made. We have a new D-Bad coming from a new maker. And, um, and it's going to be good. Uh, speaking of D-Bad blades, the Arizona Bowie is getting ready. I told him to hold off until I'm in Arizona. I'll be leaving soon, getting on the road, um, in a few days. So that's, that's coming to fruition. Um, the new one from KHHI, I told him to hold off sending it until I get there. Um, so we'll have a couple of, of new D-Bad blades ready to go, um, in December. And, uh, and then we just got a whole bunch more stuff. So it's going to be awesome, but this is a Michael Myers blade. This is a wank, wank, wank type thing. And, um, I'm pretty excited because it's going to look really cool with my costume. And yeah, I'm going to carry a live sharpened nasty ass blade when I do my Michael Myers thing because there's just no other way to do it. So follow the link below, check them out, give them a like, give them a, uh, a subscribe. It's free. And if you haven't subscribed to me, remember it's free. Um, Elemental made, this guy is a real deal. His leather sheaths are freaking awesome. Um, so go check him out. That's it for this one. I am Donnie here all day. I gotta go finish my chicken. Uh, uh, that's it. Goodbye.